Hello and welcome to still our first lesson of C++ and we're just going to move on. It's our part two of our first lesson and at the end of the last lesson we finished with this application which is a couple of includes. It just says hello world, gets a character and then returns zero and ends. And in this lesson we're going to move on to a bit of input. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to use C in. So we have C out and C in. Um, and it's going to say, instead of saying hello world, it's going to say, what age are you? No, what age are you? Uh, how old are you? Probably sounds better. And then we just go to the line after that. C in. And notice we use two closing triangular brackets. And then we use the variable we want to store it in. So it's C in age. And then we go C out. You are age years old. Oops. End line. Okay, so let's just go through this. Uh, actually, no, it's not going to work at the moment. Say, oh, do oh wait, no, age. It's fine. Int age. Okay, right now, now we can go through it. So what we're actually doing here is we're creating a new variable called age. So it's a new variable called age. Think of a variable as you know, like a storage container, and it can contain any value and the value can be changed well, not any value it contains a value specific to its type so this is an integer so integer age it accepts integers so age can be any integer any integer you like so it says how old are you and then it basically goes come on then input an age so it waits for you and then you type in an age so you just go to turn and then it says you are space and then we use the incitation operators again and actually output the variable age and then use them again and then space years old and we can see this in action how old are you? 522 because you are 522 years old and uh, CN although it's not used in any of the major apps um, what you can actually do is, as we're learning other things along sort of all the different lessons, it's always good to use C in and just add a bit of user input to what we're doing, because often it complements the thing very well. And I mean, we, I try to use it a lot in the lessons because you know it makes the lessons fun and it's great. So what we can also do is, I won't go into that. You can say no, no. Let's leave it at that. Let's do int age and let's just do another example of this. Uh, int height it says how tall are you? And then it says your measurement in. Right, how tall are you? Centimeters. You are, however much you put in, centimeters tall. Actually, we don't really need space. And then we can debug this. How tall are you? Centimeters. 524. Actually, no, too many 500s. 200, 300 even. Ugh, I can't type. Maybe 10. Let's just do 10. You're 10 centimeters tall. And as I said, have a play around with it. It's good fun. Put it in later lessons. The text tutorial. Um, also, it's the same as the last lesson's text tutorial. If you can't find it, um, it's exactly the same in the last lesson. As in, it covers the information a lot more. I'm rushed with the videos to a certain time period. Um, have a play around with it. How many times have I said that in this lesson? It's great fun. Have a nice day.